Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we studied the Euclid's division lemma. Today, in this video, we will learn to find the 8CF using Euclid's division lemma. The number of chocolates P and chocolate Q are 1215 and 891 respectively. What is the maximum number of chocolates that can be kept in a box? And how many minimum boxes are required to keep equal number of each chocolate? You can also solve this by hit and trial method. But here we will solve this in a stepwise manner for which we will find the HCF, that is, highest common factor of the number of both types of chocolates. For this, we will use Euclid's division lemma A equals to B multiplied by Q plus R. Let's try to solve it together. Here, 1215 is greater than 891. Now we will use Euclid's division lemma on these, which gives us this value. Since the remainder is not equal to zero, we apply the Euclid's division lemma again to divisor 891 and remainder 324. And by this, we get this value. Here also, the remainder is not equal to zero, so we apply the Euclid's division lemma once again. The remainder has now become zero, so our procedure stops here. Since the divisor at this stage is 81, which is the HCF of 1215 and 891. So maximum 81 chocolates can be kept in the box out of chocolate P and chocolate Q. Since we have to find the minimum number of boxes required, can you tell what we have to do in order to find this? Well done! If we divide the number of chocolates P and chocolate Q by 81, that is, the maximum number of chocolates that can be kept in a box, and add the quotients obtained, we get 26, which is the minimum number of boxes required. Hence, minimum 26 boxes are required to keep the chocolates. Now, let's understand the difference between Euclid's division lemma and Euclid's division algorithm. Euclid's division lemma is a proven statement which is used to prove another statement. While algorithm is a series of well-defined steps which is used to find the HCF of two positive integers A and B where we can use the statement A equals to B multiplied by Q plus R of Euclid's division lemma. Today in this video, we saw an example based on Euclid's division lemma. In the next video, we will see the common errors which occur while solving these types of questions.